It's five o'clock and you're off clock with B Scott now. Today is special because our fiftieth episode. All right, so we got the hunting team with us today. We got Daryl Moore, Freddie King, Brian Jessen, and Dad. We're gonna go over Arkansas duck hunting this twenty twenty four season. What's changed in the rules? What you can and can't do, and what it's looking like. What what kind of predictions are we thinking for this opening this weekend? So guys, make sure you leave a like, subscribe, hit the bell for notifications. Check out all of our social medias. We're everywhere. Now let's get into it. Let's talk about what's serious here today, okay. and that is we are within four days of 2024 duck season. All right, I know we're all excited. Some of us can't wait. Some of us are besides ourselves. But let's talk about what's new this year. What's coming in that's new to waterfowl this year? Freddie King in a happy boat. Hey, that is, that's new first and foremost. All right, that's the that's highlight so far. Jump right in there on that yeah, now. That's, that's right. the best thing happening. Yeah, yeah Freddie's getting his boat world. today. Is it going to be ready? Yeah, it's going to hey, be ready. Surprise. 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 That's, 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 that's I, surprise. I have to know first My thing. birthday was last week, too, so that's excited, like double whammy right there. Excited, <laughs> nervous, anxious. Like, what do you think about I'm that? A, I'm a deal? little bit of all of it, yeah. you know, really. Yeah. I mean, you got the uh, butterflies uh, down deep? Yeah. Uh, butterflies, and, you know, I, I tend to get, you know, stomach <laughs> shook up, you know. And, you know I, I think – Throw I think, up a little bit, that kind of thing. <laughs> I think one but, thing that uh, people don't really understand with the Excel and the Freddie King and Tim Scott deal is – there's some old roots here. Oh no, that's well. It's just like they, uh, the, the, people actually, are like, "Oh, Freddie's jumping brands." Well, no, eh. no, 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 no. It's not that. As a matter of fact, I have the exact very first boat that that man built for me, still in at the house. Got in or not the invoice, but the the, the paperwork on it, the trailer, river trail trailer. Oh yeah, everything one hundred percent. They say Tim nine, Scott ninety on a sixteen fifty. One. Tim Scott, it ain't Freddie, the boat. It's the person. It ain't the boat. It's the person. Tim Scott, yeah. Freddie King. When did y'all first meet? Oh. Hey guys, so our numbers show that eighty-eight point nine percent of y'all are not subscribed. All right, don't take two seconds to subscribe and hit the bell for notifications, and you'll stay up to date with all of our newest content, guys. We come out with stuff every single day on every platform: X, Instagram, Facebook, all of them. So guys, check out Havoc Nation Gear Shop. We're gonna sell. Off the clock merch and then boat accessories, havoc merchandise, everything. So guys, let's get right back into it. But subscribe. Long time ago, I yeah. can't. I mean, it was yeah. long. the first time y'all ever part two. I was in my thirties for sure. <laughs> part two, Dude, yeah, early thirties. No, 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 absolutely. Yeah. Well, I mean, it, it, you know, uh, Tim had stopped by the Echo Shop and then yeah. kind of said, "Hey, let's uh, talk about doing some video stuff, marketing on these XL boats." And next thing you know, bam, that's what I was up there getting ready to start. You know, doing some stuff to get the brand XL yep. boats going. I mean, it was brand new. Tim it had was. just tied in with River Trail and stuff, and. We went up there and shot a bunch of videos, and then that dang tornado. I mm. mean, it was. And the whole, uh, the whole, the whole story in detail, a little bit more detail than this, is all in the last podcast we did with Freddie, yep. where it kind of gives a breakdown of history of how these guys got together. Yep. Then if you want to go any further, you go to episode one. Yep. Episode yep. one. Exactly. Yeah. Freddie plays a big part. Well, in but I mean, I to think, me, Freddie's always been part. Yeah, of I just want to bring I've it up because people I've seen people talk like, "What's oh, Freddie yeah. doing?" You know, yeah, they yeah. just don't understand the uh, dynamic. Here. No, no, they, they don't. They, don't. So, no, we've been we so. we've been tied ever since then. Yeah, I mean, I mean, we're we're looking at twenty years almost right there. Yep, friendship, you know, doing stuff and always staying in contact. And of course, Tim, Freddie, what are you doing? Come over here and have me. Oh yeah. <laughs> well, you know, I mean, I mean, if you look back in history, a lot of these old dealers that we've had back in the day are selling havocs yep i mean yep. everybody that's involved in excel or edge or all the companies we were involved in are working with us today yep. so it's definitely family um values and it's small business values in a, in a corporate world like-minded folks and mm -hmm. roosters come home that's right. <laughs> ain't the boat. It ain't the boat. It's but, the people. But no, yeah. seriously. I mean, it, I, it is the people. Peanut's like, uh, you're going to sell that boat? And I said, uh, no, babe. Collector. I, said, I mean, I've had yeah. a thing. I'm going to keep it. And I said, no, I might bring it down here and let Tim have it. Yeah. Say, here, put we just, uh, we, uh, matter of fact, we just took it in the edge. Uh, yeah, we did. Or Tim Scott we did. Edge. And there you, you go. Know, so we yep. got it and we're going to run it through the system. And uh, that boat's going to be for sale. Yep. I think we're going to redo it. And, It'll be a 1656. 1656. Original Tim Scott Edge. There you go. It's going to be redone here at the Havoc plant, and it will be for sale. Well, I mean, what's so great That's about so this fast. this boat, the 1651, so is, 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 Tim, this is, 
we talked about the front of the boat. So he built that bow with you lift up huge under storage. Up yeah. in the storage. Front. Just, and then, Can't have too much. No, no. Never. And then and then on on my gun trays on, or my gun boxes on the side, they're actually like 16 inches wide. And then it's got this huge box. We measured my big camera with inside the case so that it would fit in there perfect. So anytime we was yep. hitting stuff, it wouldn't vibrate, wouldn't get beat around. It sat down in there perfect. And I mean, there's just so much wanna, to this boat. I, I want to talk to DJ, make sure we get that box in there. Ah, oh, yeah. He that. I'm gonna have to, yeah, yeah, don't forget you about gotta that. You got to have that box. Ooh. That Yeti box. Hey. Yeah. Hey, now that's going to be huge. That's going to be cool. Am I going to like it? Oh, yeah. I think, yeah, you're, I think you're going to love like it. Like is not the right word. Like yeah. love. Yeah. You're, you're going to love as much as I love I like the smarter use, we got. Well, I like to use juice a lot. The juicy. Yeti gear boxes. Huh? It's going to be super yeah. juicy, extra yeah. juicy. Yeah. The Yeti gear boxes, though, the frames weren't built for that. Right. We still get, we're still working on the Yeti gear boxes. Yeah. Right. Ah. Yeah, we had a problem ah. with the way the latches opened up and the frame drop. I got you. So I, we are I got still, we're still trying to figure that out. Well, that's something special. Well, that's when you call Yeti and say, hey, you need to redesign this box. <laughs> I know. Yeah, listen, listen, listen. We, we already it's have. Just, it's we already weird. have, and Yeti's working on it. There you so go. They're, they're about, it won't be long. They'll get it fixed. <laughs> I hear you. Yeah, I don't know what they're thinking. Yeah. <laughs> hey, all right, waterfowl, waterfowl, waterfowl. Well, listen, let's talk about like the, all this water we got, all this rain. We got a lot of rain. The rivers are good, rising. Good thing we're going to be holding it. I know. Yeah. <laughs> don't get started. <laughs> <laughs> the rivers are going to hold it because it's out of the banks. I don't have right, a choice, right. but I don't know about some of these other places, WMAs and stuff, but we got a lot of water, a lot of rain, and there's a huge cold front starting tonight. Dude, it's getting everybody excited. I it's mean, what, excited. it's got me pumped up. The I'm conditions are perfect today. They're lining up for the opening. The stars they they are really lining. are. I mean, things are looking good. You know, last week we talked about early week before. Well, no, last week. So, but we talked about, you know, the having that water before season. Right. You know, and then that cold front and stuff. The ducks are here to kind of hold them in place. And, I mean, we're, we're set up for it. We're set up for that. a banger of a first week. That's one yeah. thing, too, I had on my papers. Uh, a duck, long first week. A long first week. Long, you always yeah. shoot them opening day. It's like yeah, yeah. It's Monday duck, when it's a real tail. Oh, yeah. Duck numbers. What have you been hearing, Freddie? Well, I mean, it's like, uh, again, last week we talked about, I've got several buddies up in the Canadas and North and that, I mean, Canada's, they're pounding them. One of my best friends as a, I mean, I've been hearing up I mean, 30. I killed over 17,000 ducks. Up 30, 17,000. 17,000. Like 1700. Zero, zero, yeah, 1700. Zero, 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 zero. That's math. That's, 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 that's a lot of shooting for one guy, too. That's it. That's it. And, so that's and the, same, the same. Yeah. The that's same, a lot of ducks. Well, the, uh, hey, this the same guy, he also, he also owns BKL Outdoors. And I mean, they're fixing to jump from there and go straight into <clears> BKL and. He's already talking about ducks down there in central Kansas. So, I mean, you're talking what up 30, 40 percent from last year, exactly. I mean, that's and in Arkansas, you, you know, there's there's new things too. You know, they they changed a little bit this year. I mean, do you feel like maybe some of the things they changed was a little bit of give, a little bit of take, or do you think was a productive change? I mean, I think some yeah. stuff is good. I mean, there's some stuff I don't agree with. They should like, like, change. What do you, what do you, I, they got it, like, like for instance, like you know, opener. now, now for me, the first thing is like. The twenty five shells thing, like yeah, WMA is like twenty five shells. Like okay, so now we're we're complaining. I know about all this noise. You know yeah. we want to do stuff with mud mud. We want to do this that with noise, but then we're going to it. We're going to promote more shells. Okay. God busting. <laughs> well, well, I'm promising you twenty five shells. They talk about yeah. the, the nothing but promo decline of duck God numbers over the last past year. Yeah. So you'd think, you know, why would we have a decline of ducks and raise the shell in it? You know what I mean? Well, it just well, yeah, and too like I mean honestly, like y'all have all hunted enough that you know. That when you're going to shoot ducks, like you don't need 25 shells. I mean, actually, no. I mean, some days you do, some, but like, I guess some but most of the time you don't. Like 99% right. of the time you don't, don't shoot more than 15 shells. You ought to need fours, maybe six. I mean, uh, Freddie's talking about sky busting. I mean, that is what's going to happen, right? No, that's exactly what right. 100%. That's all gonna, they've done is promote the act of sky busting. You're trying to finish ducks, and they come over with somebody else's swing hole. Well, let's try them. Boom, 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 boom. And you got enough guys shooting that, you know, ducks at 60 ducks. yard. Well, it's going to, mm. nobody's going to kill them. You're yeah. going to have tons of ducks fly away with, with, uh, BB holes in them, and you know they might drop one that lands way over there, or, that sort of thing. And yeah. I mean, trust me, I've seen it a million times, and that's exactly what that twenty-five. Sh in my opinion, that's what that twenty-five shell yeah. promotes. Are they gonna get pissed off at the person next? Why to would them? they do that? They just shoot uh, anyway. Uh, why would they do that, Freddie? Uh, I I don't know. I mean, well, well, here, uh, well, so it's mixed reviews on it all. Uh, they're bringing back uh, spinning wing decoys right. this year. We're talking about pressure. 
<clears throat> you know, people are some people are happy about the spinning wing, some people aren't. You know, there's right. no sides of it. You know, it, and I mean, so, I, I, mean I have a love hate relationship with it, that. Uh, I was one of the advocates for let's do away with them, let's do away with them, let's do, and I want to do away with them. I'd love to see it statewide, but listen, what's good for the goose is good for the gander. And and I see way too many. And you're meaning that it. they were illegal on WMAs, exactly. legal on it, private it, right? It, it, they were legal on private grounds, right next to WMAs. And you know, a lot of times they'd short stop ducks or whatever have you, and whatever. But if if we're going to do it, we might as well all do it. Yep. And I mean, so don't just you know limit one group of persons. Yep. So if they're not going to state, it's not going to follow the whole state. Then let's let's make them legal again. Like, so, like but he's then, making these rules up. But then, like, okay, so then do you go back to the people that got tickets for it that didn't know, like, do they could still keep their ticket if they got a ticket for it last year? Yeah, well, I'm sure they. I'm sure it's already. Well, no, it goes back. There's another one on there, uh, <laughs> y- a big one, tree hooks. Oh, that's yeah. that's that I mean, was yeah. it. Who I hasn't with people, me? Yeah, who hasn't tickets. had a tree hook ticket? <sighs> I have no. I have had tree tips. I mean, you know what I mean. And, 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 and I did not put that nail in no, that tree. Everybody. And it's a forty-year-old. You couldn't nail hang your. Still, you I still could not a hang for it. on the tree on the nail anything. That's a ticket. That's a ticket. Yeah. Even yeah. if it's an old nail, grown in. You're yeah, allowed to it. now up to three eighths inch. Yeah. Put a tree hook in. So yeah, carry in. your tape measures, three eighths <laughs> inch. You know, measure your <laughs> nails. But the whole thing is like this: killing the trees. I'm like, okay, but we're out here cutting half the you, trees in the woods. The sawmills don't want iron; it messes their saws up when they're cutting the trees up yeah. into pieces. It messes them up, so yeah. they don't want any metal in the tree. Uh, that's why they did it. I, I, well, that's I, quickest way. To, <laughs> I, I mean, I mean, I'm just asking a question. I mean, I don't, I don't guess I know how much damage you got to actually put on a tree to actually kill it, like fully fledged kill it. But if you're putting a tree hook in, right? I would think that's not going to kill the tree. Am I wrong? No. no. It's okay, fine. so the quickest way to kill a tree is with a chainsaw. Well, <laughs> hey, that'll do it. Yeah, that'll do it. Absolutely. That'll, that'll and, I mean, they're, they're changing a couple other things. You know, you got and, electronic and, federal and, uh, and, and something And something that's even quicker to kill the tree than that is spring flooding. No, I know it. Now, that's the most detrimental. <laughs> yeah. Sure. Spring, other than a chainsaw. Spring flooding and beavers. Yep. They'll kill more so trees than about, any tree hook. You talked about not having no water up there yep. where you hunt? Yep. So yep. they didn't put what up the... Uh, uh, we don't have any gates closed. We didn't catch any. What are you talking about? Gates? They dug all the gates out. Yeah. yeah. Wow. I wow. uh, mean, you can't go up there. Do, I know uh, gates. What's the uh, reason? Management area close to him over here. He wants to get mad about that. Uh, I mean, they've dug the son of a gun out right here, right before season, just to, even, but, just to act like... Well, it's a good time of year to do work in the winter, you know. Yeah, you know. It's good and dry. <laughs> Well, it is around Arkansas. Good Lord. It is around Arkansas. <laughs> hey, but I, what is the you reason? Know, you, know, you know, last year, I almost got a ticket. This is random. I just seen it on here. But for, for hunting not- water? <laughs> yeah. For- <laughs> <laughs> I just think somebody listening needs to know this, that I didn't have my federal state stamp, federal duck stamp with me, right? Yeah. I buy it every year, usually probably like a day before season, and I never have one. Well, you don't have it on you. I you never had it, it until right. I literally didn't literally come like February, March. And they were like, and then one game where was like, well, if I see you tomorrow out here, and I will be here. If you don't go buy another one, spend another twenty eight dollars, I'll give you a ticket tomorrow. I'm like, I, yeah. So take it another step so it's further. My fault. So that that you guys didn't mail me one, but I showed you how I purchased. You, like you, it has it on your license that you bought it. Mm-hmm. Here's the thing. Here's but another. I don't have. They it, have the hard have cards it. now. Like, yeah. You have the hard <laughs> card. And here's a question: Did the state stamp your state stamp have to be on your hard card sign? Did you have to have your state stamp? Well, he and wanted your federal sign. stamp. He with wanted you. He wanted on your hard card. Me. Like, where do you put it? And sign. You have and a like, hard card. They won't well, really I, stick. The best thing guy. I found to do was I take mine now, and they go on the backside of my a phone. My phone. That's phone. that's where I need to get. That's where mine are at. Right it won't worry for Daryl though, because Daryl just leaves his phone. Yeah. Out well, there. Well, well, the next day, I said, I'm just gonna go somewhere else tomorrow. <laughs> oh no! You know, someone, how you, you know you can buy stamps, else, and I got stopped the next day by like five game wardens, and I'm I'm talking to them, and I'm like, all right, I'm gonna get a ticket, whatever. So I give them all my stuff, and they're like, all right, have a good day. Yep. And I'm like, so I don't need my federal. <sighs> you know, you can get those. They're, like, like, they're like, you bought it. I mean, you I don't can buy care. those yeah, federal not, stamps at the. I mean, you, you do what you're like, supposed to do. Other than have a little bit of sense. You can buy those federal stamps at the post office. You should just buy a roll. You know what I mean? That would be funny. Just have a roll. Go. <laughs> that would be funny, sir. I need a roll. I need a roll of uh, federal and state duck stamps. Yeah. Just want to get. That would be funny. Yeah. I just want to clear the air. Make sure come in a roll. It's gonna be a thousand. That's a thousand dollars. Perfect. 
Yeah, okay. you're right. Give me two rolls. Go ahead. That'll be funny. <laughs> Just stick them on your boat. What do you think the game board would say? What would the game board say? Oh, he would be like, "What are you doing?" <laughs> yeah. Oh, actually, they, they always ask to see you know what. What, what if you had five? Oh, sorry, I didn't sign that. One. You know, you know what? You know, I've had some runnings with like some nice game warnings. They're like really oh, yeah, cool. Yeah. Like, yeah. But then, like, some of them are some just them are, like the like worst. That. Like, I'm like, yes. so who's going on the first day? You both, all y'all going? No, yeah. well, we it's won't. We won't be going. We won't be. No, no we won't be going. Deer hunting. We'll We're gonna be in Missouri, but when we get back, I mean, it's gonna be crazy the first day. Oh, oh it is. is. No, I'm. I'm gonna be way off the trail. I promise yeah. you. I told Jake, you better take where Jake's trying to go. I said, you better take, you better go out there and Brian, take my mod 40. Brian <laughs> sends me a video. Good on luck's me a race, son. <laughs> Brian sends me a video every year of all the Havocs. Yep. There's usually a lot. Dude, of I, we'll there. be filming, and it's just. <sighs> Havocs everywhere. So that's all. It's kind of cool to see, though, because like you'll get to the boat room. There's it like will. 30 boats, and it's like Havoc, 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 yep. Havoc, Havoc, Havoc. It is cool. And anymore, if it's havoc, not a Havoc. havoc. If it's not, if it's a newer boat and it's not a Havoc, it looks like it's havoc. it's a copy of a Havoc. That's no lie. Yeah. So <laughs> it, that, that's no. I mean, I, they're I'm all gonna, Havocs. Really. I'm going to carry stickers and hand them out and be like, "Here, <laughs> you're welcome. You're welcome. You're welcome." Or an edge, or yeah. you know, and all of everything. It. It's, I mean, it, it's it starts, but it's it ain't the boats, the people. Yeah, it is. It goes back to the same it it same is. statement. It's kind of funny. Know, it's like Ninety nine percent yeah, of exactly. all the boats out there. That's true too. Tim Scotts. That's it. That's it's it. kind of funny though if you think about it. Somebody be like, "Edge boats are the best." Like, well, you know that he, yeah, I mean, that's fine. Started that. <laughs> Excels are Excels are a great boat. Well, yeah, yeah. yeah. thank yeah. you. Yeah. We're not telling. We're not saying well, not. Yeah, <laughs> nothing's funnier than. Like, I mean, you don't want to toot Tim's horn or nothing, you know. But no. I mean, he's a well, pretty I mean, that's bad eight. He's a pretty bad eight boat builder. That's pretty much it. Yeah. Well, nothing. Thanks, nothing's guys. funnier Thanks, than whenever you boat. Hey, everybody's good at something in life, right? I'm a boat builder. I'm a I'm a real boat builder though. I mean, actually. And all the time, man, you run into people that don't know. No, they don't. And you're like, you know, he's like, what do you think of that havoc? And I'm like, you know, I'm always like, man, I love it. Yeah. You know, I, blah, 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 blah. Like, I don't tell them that never hardly who I am. Right. Yeah. So they'll be like, well, I was, I was going to buy havoc, but man, that edge, you know, I just couldn't turn it down. What about, what about the guy? That, I'm like, well, what about the guy that walked up to you and was like, I was going to buy a havoc, but then it turns out that uh, they own War Eagle. So I just bought a War Eagle. Yes. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yes. We talked yeah. to somebody, a guy. and I and I was running yes. the GoPro. I had a GoPro <laughs> on my chest. Uh, we were we were bass fishing. I had a GoPro on my chest. And he rolls up and he's like, "Man, I was gonna get one of them Havocs, but then I realized that uh, War Eagle actually owns Havoc." Yeah. So I just went yeah. ahead and bought a War Eagle. And I was on the phone with Beast Guy on speakerphone. Was fishing the same lake. I'm like, thinking. I ain't never heard that before. Dude, I kept a straight face, you know. I was like, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't know, know that. that we, I didn't know that Havoc. Had that guy sold. had no I idea. Didn't, I didn't know Havoc had I sold. I didn't correct him or nothing. Man, there's so much of that kind of. When crap did, out there. when yeah, did Havoc, that guy had no idea. When did no. War Eagle acquire Havoc? Is that, is that <laughs> no, they didn't. Oh, okay. I, didn't know. Dude, you know, I mean, that's just something else, you know, uh, uh, about Tim. He's smart enough and knows. He said, "You know what? If you want to buy it, it's yours." Yeah, man. Go do it. I mean, come on, yeah. you know. I mean, Drink. you don't ever. At some point, it's kind of like Grandpa always told me, two fools are going to meet at some point, and they're going to be talking about money. Don't be the fool that walks away. Yep. Yeah. You know, that's right. That's, that's right. it. Don't be that fool. So, you know. Speaking and, of money, what are you thinking with increased cost of everything? They're raising these prices and stuff. Like federal, stamps federal stamps are 30 bucks now. Yeah, it's, it's an out of state license for Arkansas is five hundred and ten dollars now. Five ten to, to hunt here. Hunt. Five ten out of state. Five hundred and ten dollars now. Well, I mean, good grief. Have you priced the mule deer I mean, tag? Well, I mean, yeah. I have mean, you it, priced the yeah. elk tag? Everything. I mean, these yeah. are these are Arkansas's treasures. No, I mean, if you, you don't come to Arkansas to kill elk, you don't yeah. come here to shoot bear, you, you, you don't you come think? here to shoot mountain lions, exactly. but you come here to kill mallards. It, so, in the timber, and that's in, in the timber. In the timber, and nobody else has that. Which is true. Like we do. So that's just like going to Canada. Should put the flood but here's the deal, though. Here's the deal, though. <laughs> Usually, when cost goes what up, kind of deal, it's though? because supply is down. You know what I mean? So, like when you see all these numbers going up, you would think, okay, there's a scarcity of mule deer, elk, deer, ducks, whatever it may be. But I don't. I kind of think that they're just raising their prices up. Pick up really because they're more. able to yeah. because everything else is up. You know, as ATVs well as cost I, more. that when it comes to. Our, 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 what's the word I'm looking for? But when it comes to our uh, pastime, 
uh, the, the way I want to put it is things that we really love, we'll pay. It doesn't matter if it's a thousand. But you know, yeah. you, it doesn't see him, you see them get on there. I mean, we, we you can pay. sit here and talk money all day, but you're not going to justify a hobby. <laughs> no. You're going to pay it or you're not. That's it. Well, here's you know? the deal, though. They talk about people are leaving. People are getting out of the outdoors. We're not getting the youth. And what, y'all make it so damn expensive. Yeah. Well, no, I, I mean, mean, there's a lot to that, too. But I mean, it's crazy. But, but still, I mean, they, they, uh, no matter what, we always seem to find a way. And I, and I, I don't really believe that the actual sports are, are declining. I think that they're they're pretty much flatlined, but I don't think they're actually declining because no matter what, you know, if, uh, uh, which I don't have a couple of boys, but I'm, a friend of mine's got three boys, never single one of them's hunting. You know, right, right. Uh, so most families are that way, you know. Uh, now, don't get me wrong; my girls love to hunt. It's just that they're girls, and they're not going to go out there and hunt. But I do have two boys now that are going to dabble in it. Yeah. So, right. yeah. no matter what, I'm I'm putting back at least myself into it by having one of them. But most time, it's multiple two or threes. So I don't really buy that that people that that the hunting industry is losing <laughs> numbers overall. We may be flatlined. And we may be we may be just barely climbing, but as far as I don't think we're in decline. But with the prices going up, it it leads you to think it's like okay, are they just squeezing everybody for just a little bit more because you can get away with it with the inflation and everything else is going well, on? Or? I have my opinion of that, but we we don't want to get into that. Hey guys, so our numbers show that eighty eight point nine percent of y'all are not subscribed all right don't take two seconds to subscribe and hit the bell for notifications and you'll stay up to date with all of our newest content guys we come out with stuff every single day on every platform x instagram facebook all of them so guys check out havoc nation gear shop we're gonna sell off the clock merch and then boat accessories havoc merchandise everything so guys let's get right back into it but subscribe or is it mismanagement of money that they're you know what they're, they're doing? doing it because I mean because I think they're just, just doing, doing it because they, they can. Know they can. I mean, yeah, they can. They, they you know can. they have I more mean, money to work with, more money to spend. I'd say they have a meeting. I mean, and hell, they that, that they got Arkansas God license went from thirty, forty, thirty bucks, or I can't remember what it was to two fifty this year. Yeah, I mean okay? that's crazy. And and two fifty. So and you got a guy business, you got to buy that. So. Well, no, that's <laughs> just it. And 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 I I I don't guide, but I always bought a guide license just for the pure fact that I you know. Tim comes something, you know, I'm doing, made a deal with the boat. All right. So right. Tim comes with, how can they, you know, they might say, okay, you're guiding him. And it may not be money 100%, but it might be this, you know, right. Some so money. you're just yeah. doing it just to stay clear. Yeah, right. Right. I mean, so you know, I, I don't want say. people ever doing that, you know, well, you know, so-and-so took so-and-so hunting and that sort of thing. I don't want, well, of course. No. See, and I thought Freddie King wasn't scared of anything. I didn't know you laid in bed at night. Well, hey, listen, I'm going to tell you this right now. It's one fine. Of my, I, I, just one get, of let's my get best, it all out here. <laughs> yeah, one of my best friends, I started hunting with him because he is a game warden. Yeah. That boy, I can make sure I, hey, am I okay doing this? Yeah. And he'll yeah. give me the thumbs up. Yeah. Say, no, don't do no, that. No, no. <laughs> I go to church with one, got a good buddy too. Thumbs down. I got one no, call. Seriously, yeah. and, and, and we like, may yeah. talk a lot about the, 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 the game and fish, the heads and stuff, but I love our law enforcement guys. Oh, game and fish are great. Oh, yeah. I yeah. love we can, we can beat game and fish up. A lot of people do, but I'm just glad that we still have this natural resource. You darn right. We're blessed to have that. Yeah. Let's say that. I mean, if you don't have the the green jeans out there, I mean, there has to be it, it would be it would There's be, straight, be it would be straight chaos. Dude. Yeah, well, I mean, I mean, yeah. the green jeans got to be out there. Hey, but they got to be a little. Hey, you know, speaking of green jeans, you know yeah. now that you can tell people no. Did y'all know that? That what now? You don't have to let people hunt with you anymore. Oh yeah, that's great. You can now tell them no. Yeah, that's it. You really? They, nope. So they, if you're there, they, they first, have to be but, at least. But, but, they have to be at least a hundred. They have to at least go hundred yards away now. Yeah, that's okay. a big deal. That's, that's a big. A, that's, I wonder if they did that just for pure safety. You can pull your range finder if you want to. I'm gonna carry mine. Every I've morning. got a hundred yard string in my bag. <laughs> yeah, a little white string. You know, what, what you do <laughs> you is you make sure until it gets when you tight. get to that hole, y'all take y'all y'all remember this. Y'all remember this. When you get to your hole, well, you they gotta be hundred yards away. Don't tell everybody the secret. I know what you're gonna say. Don't tell everybody that. Don't tell everybody. Don't say it. No. Are you talking about? No, not. It's not really a secret. It is a secret. I know what he's gonna say. Don't tell him that. Yeah, right, they well, don't need to know that. that. Okay, because then that's a whole other fight I got to deal with. Yeah, yeah, so, yeah true. So, yeah. Anyway, but no, but there's there's a way you can you can you get can your hundred. You, you can get you about six hundred. So, I know. Get what you're your hundred say. yard strings. They're on the Havoc website. They take one end. You hold the other, and when it gets tight, they can stop. <laughs> <laughs> 
1995. It's it, they're they're a big hit. Limited, time, like, offer limited time offer. Limited time offer. Well, time. Why don't they do that? Why can't they come up with that rule? Because there's too many fights. Too, too many fights, fights. Yeah. man. I people mean, shoot. People come rolling up in your hole and saying, "Well, we're not leaving." You know. Mm -hmm. I mean, I mean somebody shot. At we're the not leaving. Slash. Too many fights. Yeah, the last I mean, people are shooting each other, dogs and stuff like that. And I mean, this is you know stupidity. Oh my God. Well, I mean, wild wild people love their hunting, man. I do. I do. What I usually do is like they're polite when they come in the hole. I mean, I used. To I might be like, I might be like, I might be like, okay, how many you got? You can hunt with us. He's like, I got fourteen. And but leave your dog dogs. in the boat. You're not calling the shot. Stand on your tree and wait for me to tell you shoot. That's it. That's and all. Said, and don't shoot my dogs in the water because you shoot my dogs in the water, we're gonna really have a problem. Yeah. And I mean, it, you know, and that's it, the, that's the scariest thing about letting people hunt with you is you exactly. don't know because you, you don't know, know you don't what know. their gun yeah. safety yeah. is. That's you it. know, like that's mm -hmm. well, that's what I always find is the scariest part. Yep. Is like you know, you get in the woods and. You let somebody hunt with you, and the next thing you know, you look over there, and they're pointing the gun down the line and loading yeah. it, and they're like, "Yeah, they're yeah, like back on safety." <laughs> yeah, they're, right. they're like, "I leave my gun yeah. off safety because I have to be quick." He's like, "No, nah, like, dude, you, you gun on safety. It takes thirty, se like nine like, seconds, dude, like a half a second. And Your you fingers know, already right there. You yeah. can really got to read this book because I but mean, that, but it, that is a, that's a great rule. Right there, it is. Yeah. It's yeah. a good rule. There's uh, there's some more rules. What about, Believe it or not, do you think they changed a few things this year? They did. They did. What about non-motorized boat access? Uh, I've seen that. From 1 to 6.30 p.m. Well, I mean, you're going to have a lot of people out there canoeing around. and. But where's that? That's, that's not that, specific, though. Because if, yeah. you're on the, if you're on the... Access to designated water trails. Okay, well, so what, what about... Considered? What designates a water trail? And what designates where you can? There are going to be signs. Because like, if you go like to NWR... You can be in any of the refuges. What if you're not deer hunting? Uh, you know, like how do you, how are we going? Such a. I picture Freddie out there in an inner tube <laughs> with one some of them trout fins on, paddling around. <laughs> <laughs> my little flippers. It's little flippers in your. Have center. you got those havoc flippers? Yeah, oh, dude, that's another one. Some. We can make some. havoc flippers. Nineteen ninety nine. There you go. Everything's nineteen ninety nine. No, seriously. Oh, you can't even have people doing says, stupid stuff. This says you that. can't even go. November the eighteenth through twenty second. That's today right yeah 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 yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah today yeah 18th mm. too bad there's no gates in that's to be a problem yeah <laughs> well i mean it's you know, not, not to be naming no names like right now you know the uh management area did have the gates closed the main gates so nobody did have access okay but the river fell out enough now and of course they have all the pipes open so all the water ran out so they opened the gates so now everybody can go in there and it opened it back up that management area up to deer hunting so now it's a free for all again. So people can go in there with their boats and do whatever. So I mean, it's a, to me that's kind of a idiotic. Because you technically thing. like some of them. Let me ask you. Like, this. I think in one in my in one in my mind, and Freddie, it's you know what I'm talking about. But you can go down there, you drop through the WMA, and you're in the river. Mm -hmm. And technically, you can be in a river at any point in time. Exactly. With a motor. So what's the rule? Like you can't drive straight to the WMA to the river. Did you got to run? I mean, that's like, I mean, so, I mean, I mean, I mean come on. There? I mean, that's it. And I mean, the gates open. You can't open. maybe drive to the river, but you can drive up through the river to where you would be driving to the river through the river. Well, the, <laughs> I don't know. Why, I don't know. <laughs> well, what he's saying, technically, you could. You could drive to the river and then get in the river and drive through the river to the yes. another river. Yes. And still, I mean, seriously. I mean, in a way. And, <laughs> yeah, and still every that road river, leads to every road. You have gates yeah. and fish on both sides, so I mean, it's to me, it's kind of a. They need to get a little bit more. Uh, well, do you? Do you I, mean, I do like some of these rule changes. Though. I mean, I do. I love the yeah. like no access, not people jumping ducks. Yeah. There's so yeah, many no, people I'm right, seeing right. on social media They're jumping ducks for a video, jumping them up, yeah, which is stupid, right? All right, so They're I everywhere. do agree that, but I feel like they need to make it specific because, like, we sit here in two seconds and figure a way. Like, oh well, technically. That's the issue. Yeah. Everybody reads this right did, here. Did, and they did you see my Facebook how to video it. I posted the other day? Yep. I think like two days ago about boating and scouting yep. and stuff. Yep. And, yep. I, and where I said, I said, listen, everybody's got a brand new boat and they don't care to see you and your brand new boat out there. So scout wisely, you know? Yeah. Yep. Yep. And I mean, it's uh, and, just out there trying to make a video. You know what I mean? Yeah. What yeah. Doing? And, what I, doing? and I was walking. I was on foot. I was doing yeah. my thing on foot and, and all that kind of mess. But anyway. So if you have a new boat and you feel the need to maybe use it when you don't need to use it, just wear the hat or the shirt. <laughs> there you go. You know, there only you boat go. motors with factory installed exhaust system yep. used yep. on the following NWR. So big and get that. Wow. Cash. Where, 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 That's no. the third one from the bottom, second page. Oh, flow. Wow. 
Only bolt manufacturing. So does a does a built motor? That's it. Consider well, and that's just, anything well, that's not still stock. technically it's factory. Stock, well, you could if factory. you build it with factory exhaust. Yeah, I'm saying like is that? I mean, yeah, I mean it's factory. I mean it's how it was produced originally. I mean, other yeah, if it come from the factory like that, then it's yeah, like, I mean that's is that the original so factory? It's crazy. So obviously you the think original. okay, they're looking at the exhaust system. Oh, right? so they're trying to make it quieter. Scouting. Right? Oh my, they're trying to make it quieter. So it's like you have just conflict of interest in some of the you know. More shell, louder, exhaust, quieter. Well, I mean, that's, that's where the freedom's going to come in. Boots, is, yeah. boots yes. can't be oversized levens. So, that's where the, you know, you know, some of these rules go back to what we're trying to develop, and it's the freedom motor. Yeah. Yeah. The freedom motor. all the boxes. Gonna, the freedom motor is going to help a lot of this. It is. It is. I mean, it, it really truly will. Mm-hmm. It and, does. and there's some other innovations out there that's going to help it. And if know, one day so. mud motors go away, it yeah. will be the option. Well, yeah. it looks like it's a, well, they're trying to get them out. You know, the question I was asking. I mean, what, what are they doing with this? The question I was asking about the river, you look at the last one on this list, it answers that. You still can't do, you can't even be out there after 1 p.m. No. on the river in the WRs. Right, right. And, that, and on that, on that specific river, in those specific areas right there, you could never do that anyway. And Well, but, you could you could go out there, you just couldn't have nothing in your boat, is what the rule was. Uh, if you took, if you took, oh, yeah. no, 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 no. Trying to you get Freddy's boat on this one, no, right here. You could on this river right here in that spot. You could never ever get on that river from 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 that spot. If you if you launched uh, before four a.m., you were going to get a ticket. But I'm sorry, here, here. No, this, I'm talking about right here. Oh yeah, oh yeah. yeah. And the specs here. limit here from uh, oh yeah, 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 there yeah, you yeah could to do. two. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah let's talk about specs limits. So they got cut pretty much thirty three percent, which makes no sense that if you go to stuck. Stuttgart or anywhere from Brinkley all the way down. All you see is specs everywhere. Everywhere. Mm-hmm. Like, so why would they do why that? Why would we not go up? Why would they do that? I go I went to Nebraska and did five. I don't know. I mean I don't, I don't know. a lot of, of this is adjusted per state, they say, but also like federal, you know, Have surveys. You, uh, There's but, so many new Maybe rules. the federal survey but shows you, it's down. You go to Canada and kill seven. So but you, you know, got, like how you go to Nebraska and kill five. Yeah. You go all these other places, you kill five or six, you get down here and they're every Sting corny, but how seat. precise can you be year to year? And how many people spec studies? Them? Not that many. I know they're shooting 33, like early spec. They shot 30. I know a group shot 33 guns three days in a row. I mean, there's not a lot of people to spec yeah, guns. So why would you even yeah. drop the <laughs> why would you even drop it? No, you, I mean, you think you that's know, one of those honestly, rules that was inside of something else, buried up below something else, and then you know, kind of just got passed through. But there has to be a reason why they do this. I mean, I, I want to know the reason. I feel like we need a water fountain. used to be two anyway, and then yeah. he went yeah. to three, and, and I mean, not many people hunt them anyway. I know, that's what yeah. I'm saying. I mean, I don't understand it. So, I mean, cut, you early think season, more, to me, I don't You go, think they just pull stuff out of a random box, like, hey, let's, let's I mean, make I feel like, I feel like I'm that. I'm not educated enough on them. I feel it's like that just, affects like a God service more than anybody. Those people that are trying to make money selling spec hunts to people coming out of town. It's a lot harder for somebody to justify spending 300 bucks on a for two birds versus what, what birds. hey what yeah. if this stuff was <laughs> wake like, up early go out there do what, what if it was <laughs> like a one decoys, bird you know I mean? one bird like a like a big game elk tag you're like all right killed my bird and you get your tag out <laughs> like a like, crane to tag my bird <laughs> <laughs> can you do that again now i got an eight hour drive show me, you do that. show me how you tag it do you think <laughs> you think our style game of fish does this random rule stuff just to make it look like they're busy i think it's a given it's a take well uh, i think they've got to always be doing something to make it look like they're doing something with the yeah. money yeah I mean, but they just had somebody sent the desk right government stuff, programs though. and yeah. scientists well i mean it's you know it's a whole lot of this the the thinking tanks behind some of these not the decisions here but let's say the water the trees the uh flood and, and all that kind of stuff you know you get a lot of let me say college educated youngins in there that have no idea don't about know anything how to duck hunt. and don't know how to duck hunt don't know how to hunt period and uh well they've caught some butterflies in the net before Yo, that's but right, that's that right. kind of thing but but, <laughs> but they but they 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 honestly don't know <laughs> how a lot of things work and, and they're so hired, you know, they're hired to work at these places right you know under it, dei and stuff I've, and then next thing you know they're, they're making how are we going to fix it an old man told me once. How you fix it? You get Brian Jetson up there. You get, uh, you know, he needs to start handling, he needs to be one of our commissioners. You get rid of some of these woke people and stuff. And uh, mm-hmm. you, you, the, you, the you people back throw there. politics out I think there's an issue here, though. There's a lot of money in change. Well, uh, you know, I hate money to say change. Hate, well, yeah, if you don't have the rules, I hate, I hate to say money. I hate to say money. I'm not going to really you, say Are that. you saying there's so many new rules to drive up revenue with tickets? I'm saying there's money in change. Is that what you're, is that what well, you're saying, Frank? Maybe some cases here there might would be. Like the tree hook thing, that's probably a very 
steady stream. I bet of that was like money. maybe the number one ticket. I yeah. bet it was probably a top. I mean, I mean if ever, the first if, year, I'm glad to see that one gone. Yeah, that one needed to go. Yeah, I mean, it, it needed to go. But no when, matter what, I a mean, tree I, strap is even worse to even deal with. Oh, what now? The tree straps are worse to deal with. Oh, like yeah. putting them on tree. I hate those. I mean, it, it's well, a pain. I mean, but here's the thing: no matter every hole I went to had nails in it anyway. Yeah. So I mean, it it's not the the same tree that you're standing by. I don't care. Other people hunt the same tree. Yeah. It's hard to say that. But I, there, I mean, them that nails are ten years. Yeah, old. but there's a lot more money yeah. in killing ducks and killing trees, isn't there? Probably. Yeah. So why would I mean why wouldn't the Arkansas Game Fish say, "Hey, we are duck hunting. Let's." You know, you know, this, well, is, what this, we're doing. this well, is where it gets a little confused. Well, I think I think the, the timber that that we're duck hunting is not, and and we've had these, we've talked, well, we have. That that's not just for duck hunting. Well, that's true. that's for squirrel hunting, rabbit hunting, deer hunting, and all deer hunting, mm-hmm. quail hunting, and and that's where it's hard. Turkey, remember turkeys? Right. There used to be some. There still are some places, but that's the deal. They're trying it's to not appease just up. everyone, yeah. you know. And yeah. your deer hunters. You think that? Uh, you think that? Uh, well, a squirrel's gonna jam his ankle or something on the nail. I mean, it's it's possible. He could, I don't so. think so. He could walk by and catch a. But I mean, but there's there's thousands of acres, jaw. thousands of acres. I, mm-hmm. But I'm not. I, I, I've never understood the 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 screw in deal. Because yeah. trust me, I mean, I've got. I mean, I'm I'm hunting trees that my grandpa's hunted when they were kids that's um, right and they've got nails drove in these trees and they're freaking hundred year old oaks I, and, I, there, and there's nails all the way up these son of guns it, it's had year after you know every decade a new stand has been erected there and new nails and two before don't they, how many trees don't have you seen that fences and, and was, nails grow into chains sticking out of them? I've trees don't my care farm right now I, I eat it there's, it goes there's back to metal yeah. around with with the uh, barbed wire going through the dead center of them mm-hmm. you know and no of course the, the barbed wire wasn't nailed to them it's just a tree that yeah grew yeah they grew, it, and grew it ate it and, and basically and they, ate it yeah basically, i mean i mean it, it, we've all seen that so mm-hmm. i think it's a mixture of like what they're trying to do to make it good for us now but ensuring that it's there for the later generation and there, and there so is, that's yeah. hard for us to say that what they're doing is right or wrong because we, we haven't done you know i guess well everything we have to do to decide that but then again, it's like if they would be communicate a little better and say, "Okay, listen, this is what we're afraid of. This is what we're going. We're thinking about doing. Right, I, and yeah. this will cause that. Is this our plan? Yeah. Well, I, I mean, just, there's a, we can go down the list and kind of uh, analyze everything like that. And 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 this, you know, like I said, the, the screw in deal. I wholeheartedly agree with the change of it. But I'd like to see why they're what their thought process. All of a sudden, the, well, all of a sudden, why change it? And and same thing, you know. Of course, they said, well, they let us vote on the fifteen and twenty five, and I can't believe there's that many of us idiots that would want a twenty five shell limit on a on a piece of public ground. I didn't vote and to increase it. I didn't. Just I did one. I voted like ninety something it. times, and I didn't every time. So <laughs> anyway, I'm just saying I, I didn't want it. And every one of my friends that I know voted against it as well. So I don't. Why know. would they do it? Well, but, I was saying, I was saying, here's why they did. But it, it. might they be. Say, here's, hold on, hold on, hold on. Here's why they did it. I mean, who why they do who it? would benefit most from us uh, shooting more shells out there? The people outside the property scaring ducks out. No, 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 no. What uh, people the, the the shell makers? You think it's a lobby deal? You think? You I think, mean, you they, think I, there's always you, something. You, are you thinking they're getting extra money on the side? Well, I wouldn't say they're companies? they're somebody's getting extra money but i would say that uh money was m- maybe put somewhere yeah i get you but i'm not saying that one sole entity got money from it or anything like that it's just but ridiculous it's i almost think sense. it's more of like a hey they're gonna shoot them out faster on this public land and drive them to more safe areas like some maybe some private that butts up to it well um, you know you, you know one of the things they know. said the reason they said they did it was is because there were so many people confused on if they could do 15 in this WMA or this WMA. Say so they were going to make it even across all the boards. That's just what they said. Why don't you but just I'm, read the But I'm like, the okay, well, then why not just make all of them 15? No, yeah. make all of them 10. <laughs> 10. Yeah, or whatever. I'm saying, you know, yeah, do all I, of I'm one. With you. Yeah, yeah. I'm with you. I know what you But, mean, like, you know. I'm just saying, I'd like to see 10. Mm-hmm. A matter, matter of fact, Rick Dunn, I can tell you for a pure fact, this is man would put his, his Drake coat on, he would grab six dang shells, put them in his pocket, and a freaking Diet Coke in his chew. 
and a honey bun. He walked to his hole with six shells, that diet coke, his duck calls, the honey bun, and that's it. That's all he needed every single morning. And we pretty much, that's about what we figured. He traveled as light as he could because we did a lot of walking and stuff. Yeah. And uh, and that's all all we needed. I mean, that's right. that's it. That that's story all. that story right there just gives me chills. I mean, I'm telling you. Well, it's definitely a legend. Juicy, ain't that's it? That's like a glory day type story. But, I mean, I mean but no, that's seriously. That's what everybody I, I, wants. I, I, I'm, this yeah, vintage, I'm, I'm, old school, hard. I promise Rick you. Dunn every, rust. R- that's Rick it. Dunn rust. Rick Dunn rust. Every okay, single seriously, morning. Mm-hmm. That, that's exactly six, what he six, has. Go like hunting for a week with six shells every day and see how many days you can limit out. With well, you'll figure out who can't shoot. That's for damn sure. You figure out who can't shoot quick. And I'm talking about this is when yeah. we were shooting crappy steel. You know what I'm saying? And yeah. I mean, and 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 do it, do it instead all of that. Long. Instead of the good lead you've got now, huh? Yeah, exactly. That's <laughs> <Yeah>. big difference. <laughs> non toxic lead. <laughs> non toxic. <laughs> CPA approved. Yeah. <laughs> but no, seriously. I mean, you think about that, and I mean, it's it's there's no reason if you're hunting a timber hole or even a large lake. There's no reason to have any more than ten shells. Yeah, no, I mean, not. in all on public ground, there's not any reason. So to let's go to twenty five. Let's go twenty five. So let's go twenty five. <laughs> yeah, and I mean, because all you're doing, wow. all you're one hundred percent doing, is promoting sky busting. That's all it is. You're promoting other holes to shoot swing ducks. You're promoting. Which is going to cause a more lot fights. of blackbird shooting. Which kids cause more fights. nowadays love to shoot. Blackbirds. You know, you can't even. You know, you can't even uh, put your. Uh, Shells. I mean, your shells. Your ducks on the same strap anymore. Yep. Yep. Got to separate. Same. same Got to separate, separate them now. Which we always, you know, I've always done like one counter. Like you're in charge of making sure. Yep. Yeah. It's your yeah. job. It's your job. To, you, like, you so are, they do you that know, for what reason? So you don't party hunt. So you don't shoot up. Yeah. Pretty much. Supposedly. Hey, I, 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 I didn't can, even know that. Y'all was hear rule it? This year. It's, it's a rule. It's been a rule. Well, it's been a rule, but I didn't have they rewrote it or something. No, I was just saying that in general. I know because I they get on me every year. Who is getting on to you? Can y'all can y'all hey, hear? I promise you, I'm not even, I'm not even joking you, man. If it, you go home with me, there is a 99.9 percent chance that when we get to that boat room, they're checking us. Damn, hunting is in the race. Or, ra- I, race card is in the hunt too. I, it is. I, yeah. I turned yeah. I turned around one morning last year, and I kid you not, I turned around and I looked back. It's some pot line tree. And I was like, I looked at my boys and I'm like, you got to be good. I think somebody's watching us hunt right now. And he's oh, like, what? Mighty. I'm like, dude, I promise you, I just seen something pop behind a tree and I, it wasn't an animal because the an animal would have like splashed <laughs> through the water. <laughs> this, this dude, some, something was leaning around. And so, so I was like, the next group that comes in, I'm just going to like look back there. And so I kind of like look, like trying to creep back like the other side of my tree looking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I seen like some binoculars like this. He's watching. And, yeah, and I just shot like early that morning, like right at daylight. Some ducks came in back there. I turned around and shot that way, I'm like yeah. shot. Some ducks came land, came in behind us. And yeah, and so I didn't know who it wasn't. It was a person or game warden or what. So I yelled, "My like, hey, you idiot! Like we are, we're shooting back that way. Like you're gonna get shot. Like just come in here, like whoever it is." And um, they didn't say anything back, you know. Oh. So I'm like, "Hey!" You know, like, I yell again, and he's like, he comes back. He's a federal game where you better stop yelling. And I'm like, I'm trying to help you from getting shot. <laughs> yeah, you so know? They're, they're basically yeah. just baiting you. They're just sitting there yeah, watching. Yeah. Observing. So they're trying to he, find he, something on yeah, you. He comes sure. in the hole. And he's like, he's like, I was like, what are you doing? And he's like, I've been watching you boys duck hunt, make sure. And I'm like, I mean, you could have just came in here. Like, I mean, I don't understand <sighs> the logic of you standing back there. And uh, he's That's like, horrible. he's like, give me your license. Well, they're supposed then he got to, to kind of watch it. So, but when it but when it's repetitive, you know. But I mean, it was like I'm like he's. I mean, get him at the front. There's a difference in watching yeah. and impeding. Yeah. He, he been watching. Did you check your boat impeding. to make sure they didn't put an air tag in it? I did. Oh, yeah. He's, <laughs> he's, like, he's like, we've been watching you for Sir, three days. Ooh, right, I didn't so, think about that. It'd be horrible. I mean, what well, do you think? Well, hey, that's are you just an outlaw? I find my best place is done. Never, I've never had a ticket, except for a life jacket ticket. Yeah, I've never had a game violation. But you get checked a lot. Yes. And I mean, like, is it because you're black? <laughs> I'm not gonna say that. I mean, I want to say that. that. Okay, all right, all right. I'm, I'm, I'm just checking. Well, I, I, well, I, I, okay, well, I don't want to. Okay, okay so time. I was so, the elephant. So you think day. it's a racial okay. thing? That's, right. I don't know. That's so, what we're getting at. Is I, it a racial I got two thing? Two stories with this. So one day, <laughs> one day I was uh, came back to the boat ramp. I picked up a new boat from the plant on Friday, and I went hunting the next day. It was a new VJ, and I had another boat too. That was my boat. I just so our boats are not racist. I just want you to know. 
So I'm so I I, I launched one boat. <laughs> I had my buddy drive one of the boats. It was, it was with mud motor on it. Right. And I was driving the boat with the with the fast motor because I was yeah. gonna get the hole. Right. So we come back and I was like, hey, you got all the life jacks in your boat. We had plenty of life jacks for both boats, but I had just shown yeah, up that yeah, other yeah. boat. So oh. I had put everything so in it. So that boat didn't have them in it. <laughs> yes. Yeah. So we get all the way back to the boat ramp. How many people have experienced Listen, this? Listen, there's every there was, there was, there was this was like, I'm not even kidding. We all come, we all pull into the, the back to the boat ramp. Boom, 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 boat, boat, boat. I park right next to that boat. And there's like 20 game wards up there. They're they were doing like a, a full on check on. Check it. And check it all. I'm like, I'm like, dude. Because I was supposed to get life jacks in the hole from. Oh, you knew right away. Yeah, I'm like, like God, dog. So I'm like, hey, dude, I'm not even gonna try to like get you to talk to me. He's already coming to the boat. You know? <laughs> so as soon, as soon as he gets to the front of my boat, I'm like, look. <laughs> I'm like, I'm like, like, let's talk about it. Let's talk about it. Let's talk about it. Let's talk about it. I'm like, look, there's no registration numbers on this boat. Matter of fact, I don't even have any papers for this boat right now. I just picked it up. Like, everything's clean. You can see that obviously this boat hadn't even had a scratch on it. I'm like. Look, he has all my life jackets. That boat yeah. right there is in my name right, too. Right there. Yeah. Like, it has all life jackets. We didn't, we forgot to, he forgot to put it in this boat. Like, come on. And so he's like, all right, let me check. So he looks, he's like, all right, this boat is brand new. Like, there's not a single screen. You can look at it. You know, trailer. I'm like, look, there's a trailer right there. And so anyway, he's in there. He talks to me for like 10, 15 minutes. He's like, man, I like all the stuff y'all do. Like, you know, yeah. YouTube, all that. It's cool. And talking about this point, there's like just people that have all like just, Sunken down to us, yeah, yeah, yeah. Just actually just, so you've yeah. not tried to bribe him, slip him a hundred. No, no, bucks, like right? everybody's not, come to not us to, at okay. this point. And we, yeah. we 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 slaughtered that morning, right? So we got all the ducks hidden. So then he's like, "Y'all kill ducks." And I'm like, "Gosh, dang it, you're killing me!" And I'm like, "Yeah, but can we like can I put him on the trailer? Like, let's go up the hill, and then we'll pull him out." You know? He's like, "Oh, I need to see him now." <sighs> Golly! So then we start everybody's pull, around, dude. Like, so we're everybody's start, around. We're popping hatches on boats. Like, we're starting to just just dump these ducks out. And we had ten people, so we shot a ten man. And like, we're just boom. Nobody there, the whole, we, we were the only people shooting that morning too. So it was like, we knew that nobody else had shot him. Not the next day. And yeah. So they know like, where you're at. Oh yeah. So then we lay all the ducks out. So then they, so then they take them, every duck, we just pound them up. They're putting them out, like laying them out on the bank. Four here, four here, four here. I'm like, and it, it's like, everybody's going around. And then, so this guy, he's like, all right, y'all are good to go. So like, we're loading them. I'm like, thank you for not giving me a ticket for life jackets. He's like, I ain't worried about it. Well, then here comes another game worn down there. He's like, hey, where's his life jacket at? And I'm like, gosh, dang. <laughs> and the other dude kind of was looking at him like, you know, like just, they're good. You know, we're not worried about it. Like, they're good. And he was like, mm-mm. mm mm mm-mm. And I'm rotting you. And I'm like, whatever. So the other game, he walks up to me I, after he gets a ticket. He's like, look, I wouldn't even written you a ticket, but um, all these people are standing around. And if I give you favoritism, it wouldn't be right yeah. for everybody else. I'm like, I get it, you know. Yeah. I'm not asking for favoritism. I'm like, can you actually like chunk it? Like you gave me a ticket and like throw that thing out. Yeah, I, you, you know, know? <laughs> you might have scribble scrab. Yeah, you know? yeah, yeah. But it was it was crazy. Well, at least it didn't count. Points, no, it didn't. So. It didn't. But it was two hundred fifty dollars. Yeah. Two hundred. Well, it was two hundred fifty dollars, and I forgot to pay it, so then it went to five hundred. I mean, you gotta have, you gotta have your life. I forgot. I mean, I forgot. To be I also got a failure to appear because I didn't there. pay it. <laughs> Well, oh, cut. I mean, you gotta have. <laughs> hey, it doubled. <laughs> you were selling the story, but it's getting out of hand. Cut. I mean, <laughs> I mean you gotta have law. Yeah, I mean, yeah, you do. You do. Yeah, I mean, yeah. I get it. You know, I mean, yeah. you guys fuss and stuff about the game warrants, but could you imagine not having game warrants? Oh, oh, it'd be oh, it'd free for all. That's what I'm saying. It'd be a mess. It'd Wild be a mess. West. Hey, y'all. Wild West. Y'all think about this. No matter where you go, versus other states, you can drive to, let's say, Mississippi. Yep, Tennessee, uh, Kansas, any of those states, you can drive around. You can see turkeys all the time in fields and stuff, especially Tennessee, Missouri, and all those places. You see turkeys, you see deer, and all kinds of junk. I mean, all kinds of critters. Right. You can go up in the north, you know, and see elk and all kinds of stuff, you know, in, in the Rockies and see all the, all this game everywhere. You don't do that crap in Arkansas, and mm-hmm. there's a reason. Yeah, because we are so many freaking rednecks around here. We'll shoot them off the road. We'll kill them before season. We'll yeah. kill them twice as many during the season we're supposed to and stuff. It and it's and, and our game is smart. We got game, but our game is smart. They ain't dumb like they are. And yep. we've educated our game. Yep. So and it's one hundred percent because we are killers in this state. I'd be willing to bet that, and, like and, especially deer hunting goes and turkey hunting. Arkansas has to be one of the tougher states to come I into. I promise you. Well, I'll, 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 never, I'll never forget. We got invited one time, uh, me and my business partner, years ago, and got invited to come hunt a farm in Illinois. This is before Illinois 
was uh, known, well, it was known for whitetail, but before it got the flood of people going up. Right, right, right. And, it, and the guy said, well, how much damage can two boys from Arkansas do with their bows? I mean, we killed the two biggest bucks on the place. I mean, mm-hmm. and seriously. I mean, yeah. you know, that's because we knew what we was looking for. We knew how to hunt. We didn't. We didn't. And not everything is completely wooded. It, exactly. Well, we so went in there. We went in there with the plan. We we Arkansas them. You know, we we hunted them. We hunted them the right way. And and hostile and agile and, and mobile. And that's it. And we <laughs> stay. And you know, and them boys are like, holy hell, don't mm-hmm. ever invite them back. You know. Right. But no, seriously. And I met. That's, that's the difference in mentality of Arkansans and hunters. Versus all these other states, 100%. We are killers, and that's uh, if we didn't have them game worn now to yep. keep us in check. So and and we, hey, we hey, would we, not have oh, red yeah, wings. And, 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 and there's good, there's good wardens, and there's I bad ones. True. There's yeah. good police officers, and there's bad ones. I say, you know, I'm into it's, like I'm really 90% of the game wardens I deal with. They're all nice. People. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. They're all yeah. great. They'll help you out. There's bad. You apples. call them, they'll come yeah. help you out. There's bad apples. There's only there's only there's only been one or two bad apples that I've known personally. But like most of them are pretty cool. Like they and they have a job to do. So that's why like they check me when I'm on like I'm in the public land. In like the most dense places all the time. So like, and there and you and know some days I'll pull up and they'll be like. You know, and with this being said, you. there's a lot of rules in these books, and man, it's hard to follow them all. Yeah. Y- you'll break a rule, and not even mean to. You well, know? No, they can. I don't. Uh, give I a mean, it, it, it's, it, it's just like any yeah. thing when it laws comes in, they can it, get you for something. And are they laws or suggestions or you know what are they? You know? No, I I don't know about it, but they might be able to open the cage where your gun's on fire. You know, yep. you didn't turn your safety off. Yep. Oh, yeah. Freddie right. Duck season opens in what four days? Four days, buddy. It's what on. What do you have to say to the hunters out there? Maybe the first times, the newbies. What 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 are they looking at this year? What you got any good words of wisdom from well, an old I mean, legend? Just, well, I'm not. Hey guys, so our numbers show that 88.9 percent of y'all are not subscribed. All right, it don't take two seconds to subscribe and hit the bell for notifications. And you'll stay up to date with all of our newest content, guys. We come out with stuff every single day on every platform, X, Instagram, Facebook, all of them. So, guys, check out Havoc Nation Gear Shop. We're going to sell off-the-clock merch and then boat accessories, Havoc merchandise, everything. So, guys, let's get right back into it, but subscribe. You know, as far as if you're new to area, make sure you know where you're going. If you're not sure of the waterways, uh, especially on public ground, Get Don't out of the get way. in the middle of it. Get out of the way. Get out of the way. Just wait till five o'clock. Five. Get anything to tell them in their boats? And, Should there uh, anything they ought to be doing or wearing? Or well, any? I mean, life jackets. You know, get hooked up. You know, make sure you got that kill switch on and uh, and pay attention more so to those around you. Yeah. And uh, you know, just just be safe and uh, make sure that uh, you've got your life jackets. If your boat's seventeen foot or longer, make sure you got your whistle. Make sure you got your fire extinguisher. Oh, get the whistle. You know, and make sure. Make boat sure, registration. Boat registration. Get yes. You know, all life those, jackets. All those things. And, uh, yeah, for Put those. a couple extra drain plugs inside your hey, uh, yeah, truck. Them drain plugs. Hey, right. They'll sell the boat rent for $20. Yeah, well, yep. you, you can get a, uh, <laughs> we sell drain plugs on the website. So get on Havoc Boats website, go to the gear shop and get extra drain plugs. Because guys, how many times we drove all the way to the water and didn't have drain plug? You're I, big on dogs. Countless. <laughs> Guys, first year of having <laughs> a dog in the woods. Me and any, anything, any big tip you could tell him to protect his dog, help his dog, have a good first year? Well, if it's a first year dog, uh, bring bumpers. Bring an extra bumper, something to keep your dog entertained. Yeah, entertained. Yep. A lot of young dogs develop a whining problem because they, they're not wore out. If you've got an older dog, wear that son of a turn the light on and throw freaking 20 retrieves out there. Wear his butt out before, you know, before it things get going and uh, a dog that's already wore out it's going to whine less if it's cool of course you know i always bring a heavy old coat that i'll i'll throw on my dog if it's cold after they swim i won't let them do more than about two retrieves if it's a long swim i'll go out there and have you know if we're going to kill a lot of ducks we won't have two dogs we won't ever hunt more than two dogs unless they're very very good dogs i won't go in a group with a young dog with a bunch of craziness going on we've all seen it <laughs> young dogs get bad habits quick mm-hmm. so switching breaking uh and just being unsafe in the boat running around those sorts of things so you know make sure your dog's introduced acclimated to all those different kind of conditions and at least a little bit hunt from the stand or the boat or however you're going to be doing so i mean take your time and and educate your dog to those things but and watch you know, out for others you know, watch, it, watch it you know one of my pet peeves is if the dog is working, 
nobody shoots. If it's my dog working, I shoot the cripples. If it's your dog shit working, you shoot the cripples. I'm not going to shoot. That makes sense. I'm not. Mm-hmm. That's it. Because, uh, I mean, if it, it 100%, I'm that way. I will not shoot cripples while somebody else's dog's working. Uh, it's it's all up to that owner, 100%. And uh, y'all can understand why. Oh, sure. absolutely. Oh, absolutely. I don't care if, if my dog's swimming back, we're not shooting. You don't care if a group comes in. We're shooting my. No, that's just it. And, I, you know, and I mean, you, 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 stuff happens too quick. I've seen mm-hmm. two dogs get killed. Really? You know, what a sad uh, day. Uh, yeah, oh, my God. Yeah, I filmed both of them. Yeah, filmed both of them. Filmed one. Uh, you got your dog in a layout blind, uh, filming for, for Water Dog TV, mm. and another one filming for uh, the. Uh, uh, dang. It's okay, uh, Freddie. You no, know. well, that happens a lot when you get old. Are you too, man? Final approach outdoors. Oh, final yep. approach. Yeah, and what a what what's a crazy, crazy. The what's dog, crazy? The dog gets shot and dies. They just got shot with. A well, they were wanting both of them broke in front of the gun blast while they was coming up out. Pow, you know, and got ducks on the deck. Oh or, well, God. goose in one day on ducks on the other. So, I mean, it's a bad situation, you know. Hmm. You know, you, it'll end, end the hunt real quick. You know, I uh, I went hunting in a Snake River up there in Utah. I guess I didn't shot a dog. I don't know. I didn't shoot dog. <laughs> but the dogs. What happened? The dogs would go out and they'll get trapped under the ice. Oh yeah. No. See, that's no. That's no, no. 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 And they won't come back. Of mm. course. That's, that's horrible. horrible. No. Hey. Golly, that's the worst one. Did y'all, the y'all just say the same thing? <laughs> that's did horrible. You? Tim Scott, why did you say that on? They the just, I'm just saying, say horribly. I'm just saying that happens for dogs. You but, guys, I mean, they, they, you guys, be careful hunting with your dogs. Your dogs yeah. are. Uh, I mean, but no, seriously, guy. that ice is a big. I mean, deal. ice is I mean, a big deal too. Ice is a big deal. Uh, log jams, log jams, anything mm-hmm. that's cold, running water, running water. And here's the thing, a lot of folks will send their dogs on a bird that they cannot get to their dog if something happens. You right. have never, ever, ever see me do that. If I can't get to my dog. He ain't going to get that dog duck. It ain't yeah. worth it because I've seen too many dogs get hung up in log jams. I've seen them yeah. get hung up in bushes. You know, and I've seen them get hung up on different stuff. And I've had to swim after them. I've, you know, I've always made sure I've swim. I've had Buddy swim after my dogs before. I got him. You know, that that sort of thing. And uh, uh, so, if it's a situation you think you can't get back to your get your dog back, I mean, you don't send them. You know, and I mean, Rusty Creasy, we got the lost duck, lost buck hole. You know, that's because uh, I let Buck get after a cripple right there, and I could not stop him. I did not have my e-collar turned on. You know, hunt your dog with your e-collar. Mm. I didn't turn it on, so I couldn't, you know, this dog had crazy drive, and I could not stop him with the whistle. He wasn't stopping, and this is a well-trained dog. But he got to the end of the hole and kept going. And, you know, and, and we called and called and called, and Rusty, he just, of course, on Coca-Cola Duckwoods, he just drove the perimeter, and he's up on the levee holding a damn duck. So, I mean, and that's how that hole got its name, the Lost Buck Hole, if you ever watch those videos. Wow. Hmm. So, but, I mean, that's how it's quick. Scary. I mean, That's how quick it happens. Oh, that's how quick it happens. And we get and these serious, stories yeah. all the time, people coming back to the boat ramp with a dog, you know. Hey, right. This dog come through carrying the duck, you know, this dog. Did. I mean, we've all heard it. We've all seen it. And and it, it happens too easy. It does. That's, a, that's another good thing for carry, which is like get a waterproof bag, like the Yeti Panga Duff or something like that, and have extra clothes in case you got to go swimming. That's it. Oh, I promise it. you, we learned that a long time. I always ago. keep extra in my front well, deck. You can put that Yeti Delphine back on a pair of waders, a jacket, underwear. You can just switch. We'll, we'll, to that story right there again, uh, some boys that we hunted with for several years after this incident. Not saying that we were racing, but we was going fast. You know, fifteen years ago. Competitive or so. boat riding. Yeah, com- competitive mm-hmm. boat riding and boat testing. Right. He turned his boat over, and he and, and he rolled his boat. And on a log, went sideways, from, rolled it over, and they got wet and stuff. And it was like three degrees that morning. Mm. And, I mean, it was cold, mm. cold, cold. So we went to a bar, got down at a beach bar, and uh, got a beach, boom, got a fire started and stuff. And I pulled out of my extra, coolers extra all, clothes. all extra clothes they hunted with us. And he was able to stay warm. And, but those clothes, you know, saved not only him, but, you know, the the, the hunt. That sort of thing. We killed ducks, and for years after that, we hunted together. So mm-hmm. that's awesome. Yeah, well, I mean, but but seriously, you're right, 100. percent Carry extra clothing. Carry something to start People a fire carry. with, big time, quick. And uh, did you feel like you had to give him clothes after you flipped his boat? <laughs> <laughs> I'm just asking. 
asking for Brian, it. Brian, we ain't going to go there. Well, oh, no. Yeah, that, We're not responsible. I'm, I'm not going to send it. <laughs> <laughs> well, we'll end it right there, guys. We're all excited about Doug's season. And, uh, guys, check out the last podcast we did with Freddie. Uh, get a little bit more of that backstory in detail. Subscribe. Hit the bell for notifications. Check out the gear shop. We got hats, shirts, all the gear you need. And plugs are on there. So, guys, don't don't go to the boat ramp without your drain plug. Daryl knows what that's like. So do I. I think everybody does. Let's go tape in a shotgun shell. You. Make you through. Keep that's right. Your bag. Yeah. Keep, that's keep right. Just keep the bag. boat. Just keep the boat moving. Just don't stop. Yeah. Just don't stop. You, know, you never sink if you don't stop. So make sure you take your plug out when you leave the boat ramp because that's two hundred fifty dollars, six points. Uh, oh, I, I gotta ask something. We'll end on I that. Ask Brian. <laughs> that's a big one. I gotta ask Brian this though. Wasn't it? Was it you or was it Ethan that walked? to my boat on the Cache River one time and my plug had come out and it had sunk in the back. Me? It was you? I yeah. thought it was. Yeah. I thought it was. We come back and so, it was under and you're it, like, it'll be fine. And I'm like, it don't look fine. It's Brian. under. It's under. <laughs> it don't look no, fine. Serious, Brian, did though, you I pull mean, the plug? No, no, no. Yeah, no, that seemed no, like Brian, man. We were going through the same hole. We were hunting together that day. This is a different time. All right. We almost we almost got in a fight once. Though. Yeah, but you know, that's that's what I'm saying. You He'd have whooped me. I just going to cut him. You know, he, he pulled a knife out. And <laughs> cut I said, that. Right. Not put that out. So I said, I brought a gun to a knife fight, but I don't think it's worth that. <laughs> 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 we'll leave that in the past we'll just move on with that that's guys. for the next podcast yeah. guys y'all subscribe hit the bell and we'll catch you on the next one